I wish you realized the majority of friendships are not worth keeping. There's so many people we have in our life who are great for the time being, but then we go our separate ways, and that's okay. As you get older, you have less and less time for friendships, and there's only a few people who are going to make the biggest impact, and those are the ones you should really stay close and connected with. Two, I wish you realized the few friends that were worth keeping and spent as much time as is needed to maintain those relationships. There's some people who I really connected with who I didn't choose to spend enough time, I didn't give enough effort to maintain those relationships, and as a result, they kind of fizzled out. I wish that earlier I recognized those few people and I gave as much time as was necessary to keep those relationships alive because I know for me it would have brought in a lot more meeting and opportunities and fun times just hanging out playing board games enjoying life that I missed out on because I didn't maintain those friendships. Three, live where you want to live and don't let money dictate what you do. Of course you need to have a budget and you shouldn't spend it frivolously but if you want to live in a certain place and are living somewhere else you don't like as much because you're trying to save a couple percentage of taxes or something you're going to get to 80 years old, you're going to have a couple percentage points more net worth, and you're going to miss out on all the experiences you would have had if you just lived where you want to live. For me, I really wanted to live in LA. I went to school to play athletics, and I lived in Anaheim, and it was fantastic. I loved it. I ended up deciding, hey, this isn't the right place for me. I'm going to go somewhere else for a little bit, but I don't regret the decision, and I might move back there again. Four, never touch alcohol, drugs, smoking, and especially an unprotected pregnancy. People might say it's cool, or you should do this or try this, and if that's what you're into, you like to cry open a cold one and spend time with the boys, then you should do that. Don't deprive yourself of that joy. But at the same time, don't put yourself in risky situations where bad things can happen and you wouldn't have as much control. And especially, do not please risk having an unplanned baby. I haven't dealt with it myself, but I am close to people who have. It has completely changed their life and everything they wanted to do or plans they had were completely thrown out because of this happening. Five, if someone cuts you down, it has much more to do with them than it does with you. Most of the time when people say something negative or crude about you, your character, your morals, they are talking to themselves through somebody else. It says much more about how they feel about themselves and their self-worth than it does about you. When somebody says something negative, it's okay to evaluate it and think, okay, should I change something? Should I be better? But also brush it off and don't let other people's negativity weigh you down because it's saying a lot more about who they are than who you are. Number six, you only get one name. Complete integrity is the only way to go. Just like any brand, McDonald's, Louis Vuitton, you only get one name and if it's tarnished or if it's a good reputation, that's entirely on you and your actions. Nike, Adidas, Emirates Airline, a football club, every one of these things makes you think of something in particular and that is from years and years of establishing a brand and actions and that's exactly what happens with your life. You probably have friends who are always negative or friends you love to be with because they're always cracking jokes. That's the brand they've built for themselves with how they act and how they carry themselves. Think about what you want your brand, your name to be and live up to that. Is that honesty? Is that integrity? Is that something else? You need to decide and live that completely because you get one name and one reputation and if you ruin it, it's on you. Number seven, people respect maturity and it doesn't matter your age. Growing up, my voice was always cracking. I looked super young and I felt that because of that, I would never be looked at as mature because of how I looked and because my voice was always squeaking and it was so loud and meh. But the truth was, I was kind of tricking myself. You can be mature regardless of your age based on how you act and how you have people treat you due to what you say, how you carry yourself, and it doesn't matter if you look really young or look really old, you can be super old and immature. I wish I had acted in a way that I earned more respect and that I was more mature. It doesn't mean you don't have fun, but you're just mature and wise about how you do it. Number eight, your parents have less time than you think. Your time is about to fly, and all of a sudden years are gonna pass and you're gonna wonder where it went. There's a study that says by the time you're 18, you've spent 90% of the time you will spend with your parents, which means the next 30, 40, 10, however many years it may be, are gonna one, go really fast, and two, if you don't create the time to be with them on the holidays and to have phone calls and to have board game nights and dinners, it's not gonna happen unless you really put effort into it. So make sure that you value your relationship with your parents, and this goes to the same with extended family, especially with grandparents. You probably have a lot less hours than you think if you actually count it out, so value the time that you do have. Number nine, the boundaries that you set can dictate how people treat you. I didn't know to set boundaries so people would just act however they wanted around me and I kind of accepted it for what it was rather than demanding and not in a negative way but hey this is how I would like to be treated and if this doesn't work for you then we probably shouldn't be friends. If they're always going to be disrespecting you, your goals, who you want to be, they're probably not the right person to be around. This is more challenging when it's family and you have a connection with them but even still you can say hey I don't appreciate being talked to you that way and I'd much prefer if you were like this and this isn't telling people 
how they should be as a person, but it is telling them that, hey, this is an appropriate way to treat me, and these suggestive or rude comments I'm not going to stand for. Number 10, where you put your focus is who you become. I like to think of the time you have in a day is $24. You have $24 every single day. Usually eight is for sleep, eight for work, school, a couple for driving, eating, and then the rest is for you to decide. If you want to hang out with friends, if you want to do extra for work, if you want to try to get ahead in some avenue or some hobby or creative expression. All those things, it's your $24 to spend. You have to spend it every single day and you don't get it back, but you get to decide where it goes. If you don't like the people you hang out with or the movies you watch, then stop putting your time there. Number 11, this is probably the, 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 the most important, care for your sleep. I had severe obstructive sleep apnea for 23 years until recently I had jaw surgery to fix that. You can find out more about that, I don't know, somewhere here. I without a doubt think that getting a good eight hours of sleep is the best thing you can possibly do for your health, for your relationships with other people, for your performance in school, work, for your emotional stability, whatever it may be, the best thing you can do is get a good eight hours every single night. I hope this helped. You're awesome. Let me know if there's something else you want to see below or any other thoughts or comments you might have. And see ya.